Okay, so I'm here with John from Shimoda Life. Say hi, John. Hey, hi, John. <laughs> so John has a channel called Shimoda Life. Yeah. Give me a, a, a elevator, uh, An elevator pitch. Elevator pitch. What do you do? Shimoda Life is me and my wife uh, trying to carve a livable piece of um, a livable space here on this pretty unlivable mountain. It's a really steep uh, mountain and it's pretty wild. And for the last two years, I've been clearing it, and that's what Shimoda Life has been up till today. Uh, in addition to clearing the land, it's also building the tiny house. And the tiny house was practice for the real house, which will be built um, starting sometime in, in this new year, um, just up on the ridge there. Okay, great. So what's the most difficult thing about trying to build here? Well, I'm not a carpenter or a electrician or a plumber or a tradesman of any sense. Uh, and so learning how to do all these things is the hardest thing. Uh, being, doing doing these things in Japan, I don't think is any um, any harder than doing it in Canada, except sourcing materials. That's 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 been a bit of a barrier. Language barrier isn't a problem. Uh, no, not for me. I speak yeah. I speak Japanese. I, I have a, a wife who is Japanese in case I get stuck, but uh, we're we're okay. I know that feeling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when when you're like you're up here in the middle of nowhere and we were talking just before we started recording this you were saying something about like the planning commission yeah. like you actually still have to get you know you actually have to like pull a permit like we would back in canada absolutely they, they, wow they are very particular um they're, they, they seem new to construction fair right? with me huh. um, they're being fair but they're particular and so i've ha you know i i guess the way up around it is to hire the right people to do, do do the planning and do the paperwork and do the drawings and and even have those conversations right um even though i speak japanese maybe my patience isn't as, as long as it should be uh with a government official but um uh, so i've hired an architect and he's handling all those conversations. oh that's really good okay so now they're just gonna take a little quick look around the property okay so this is inside here this is you guys can watch his channel. John's done an incredibly great job. This is his first timber frame ever, and uh, it's really well, solidly built. Uh, it's all cedar, right? It's all cedar. Yeah, and you had it sourced at local sawmill, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just fantastic. This place, I mean, you could literally put this thing, you could probably roll it down the hill and it would be in fine shape. It's really put together well. Well done. Okay, now we're walking up to where the main site's going to be. That's the road coming up from the road down below. John has made all these roads himself with his little mini excavator. And uh, so this is where the main site's going to be. Yeah, the main house is going to be. The main house. And so up there, I don't know if you guys can see that string line, that's going to be the second floor. And down here is going to be the first floor, and it's going to kind of run over here. And you can see that pink ribbon there is going to run over here. And you said it's going to be about 120 square meters? Yeah. yeah. Whatever that is in square feet. Yeah. Well, times it by three, I guess. So it's going to be like six something. That sounds really small. Six no. Square feet. Nine. Huh. Yeah, I think you multiply it by nine. By nine. That it's sounds about, right. It's about 1,100 square yeah, feet. Yeah, that's a decent sized house. I mean, especially here in Japan, right? But just to give you guys an idea, <laughs> this is really, really steep land. Yeah. Like he's working against Mr. Gravity here all the time. And you can't see it right now because all the trees here, but uh, eventually all these trees will go away and you have a beautiful view of the ocean there. That would be really quite nice. Yeah, the trees won't go away. They'll be locked. Trimmed, okay. Uh, they'll be trimmed. And, and they, these, are, these kind of trees... You're in a kind of a sheltered area here too, aren't you? Yeah. Like when the wind really blows, I mean, imagine it still blows up here, but, you know, it's not like you're on the coast, right on the coast, excuse me. <clears throat> you know, you're right on the coast, you really get hammered. Yeah. But here, I mean, there's there's a mountain over there and there's higher ground there and there's higher ground over here so you know it doesn't really totally nail you does it no no we uh it will, it's a it's a perfect area i think and Good. we're south facing so we get as maximum solar is going to be great right yeah. we already have two big solar arrays up and you're going to hook into those even though you do have power like you guys can see through the trees there but there's power right there yeah. so but it's still a good idea to have it because trees fall down and power lines go out right power lines yeah. Go out. Okay, man. Well, thanks for the quick tour and best of luck. Everybody follow John on his channel, Shimoda Life. Shimoda Life. Okay. Thanks, dude.